Universal Studios has been in the amusement game even longer than Disney has. In fact, their backlot tours date back to as early as 1915. While the Harry Potter franchise may have put them back on the map in recent years, there is a whole lot more to Universal Studios Orlando than just the Wizarding World. So should you wish to live your best muggle life away from all wizard types, then this episode is just for you. Hey everybody, it's Chris for All Ears TV and AllEars.net. Today we're talking about the top four non-Harry Potter rides at Universal Studios Orlando, according to our viewers. We went straight to the real experts once again, and that means you. This list comes straight from the reviews posted on AllEars.net by our viewers. Coming in at number four of the best non-Harry Potter rides with a rating of 8.15 is... E.T. Adventure Having opened at Universal Studios Florida in 1990, it's now the last remaining version of this classic dark ride of the three total versions that were once open worldwide, the other two being in Hollywood and Tokyo. The ride vehicle is several rows of bicycles whose handles come down as the lap bars and are suspended from the ceiling, sort of like Peter Pan's flight at the Magic Kingdom. Once you've boarded, you're taken on a flying bicycle chase that winds up on the green planet that home E.T. is always wanting to phone to. Yes, 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 E.T. Adventure is so bizarre, but you have to ride it. And pro tip, try and get the front row second from the left, because when your bike takes off, E.T.'s actually in the basket in front of you. Jania Rivera says, super classic and fun, especially if you like E.T. It's one of mine and my family's favorites and something everyone should ride at least once. I love this ride so much it hurts me. I can't totally describe the weird, depressing nostalgia that it gives me, but if Universal Studios were an emotion, that emotion would be the E.T. ride. People seem to love this ride, myself included, but it's not the number one ride, so why not? A viewer named Weber 24 says, Cute ride and great for kids. I think the bike seats are a little uncomfortable, and I do not enjoy it as much as I did as a kid. While elder millennials, Gen Xers, and boomers will get hit with a major nostalgia wave on this one, it might leave some younger folks pretty confused and maybe even bored. One of our staff actually overheard some young folks speculating in line if it was a Stranger Things ride. That would make the psychedelic alien party scene at the end pretty confusing. Spielberg must have felt pretty strongly about the last half of the ride because it is gonzo bonkers. Obviously, you and your family should have watched the film prior to making the trip to Universal if you want the best experience from the younger gen. And yes, that psychedelic alien party we mentioned is subjective, and we leave it up to you to decide if it's a pro or a con. All Ears viewer Leandro Rodriguez said, It's a classic. I'm not a big fan of the movie, but it is a Hollywood classic, and you need to experience that ride. You will enjoy it. The nostalgia is really good. The pros. 80s nostalgia. A Spielberg masterpiece as a dark ride. Charming fun for the whole family. The cons. Might be boring and confusing for non-ET fans. Feels a bit dated. Bike seats uncomfortable for some riders. Number three on your list of the best non-Harry Potter rides in Universal Studios Orlando. Coming in with a rating of 8.14 is... Men in Black Alien Attack Opened in 2000 after a five-year development process, this shooting interactive dark ride takes you inside the 1997 movie Men in Black. Now, if you do the math, you'll realize that they were developing the ride along with the movie, which is very cool. Riders enter an MIB training facility disguised as a pavilion at the 1964 New York World's Fair. And I gotta say, the size and scope of the building and its architecture are pretty jaw-dropping. And the queue for this one is really incredible. Not to mention the ride itself, which was, at the time of its opening, the biggest dark ride ever built at a Universal Park spanning 70,000 square feet and featuring over 125 animatronic aliens. Okay, this ride is shockingly full out. Universal said, we're gonna build a bunch of really huge buildings and make these rides feel enormous. And I love it. 
I really like Men in Black Alien Attack. I think it's fun to see Will Smith and Men in Black is a really cool and funny movie. The queue is really cool and you get to shoot at other ride vehicles because they're alien imposters. So aim for the red button, that's my favorite part. Gabby Christie says, went in with zero expectations and had such a fun time. I've never been a fan of shooting games like Buzz or Midway Mania, but this is the answer to both of those. Having real elements to shoot and the spinning when you get shot make it so immersive. Well, it's definitely a fun dark ride full of cool aliens. And it's a shooting game, so it's a great interactive, competitive fun for the whole family. But some reviews mentioned that it might be a little intense for younger riders. Mel D13 said, could probably be a little scary for some kids. Others mentioned that the ride felt old, like Constance HS, who simply said, little outdated. I actually forgot how much I loved this movie until I rode this ride. Like, Men in Black is awesome. 1997 was awesome. We know, Jared. We know. The pros. Dark ride and a game. Tons of alien animatronics. Interactive family fun. The cons? Intense for some children. Boring for others. Slightly dated. And your number two best non-Harry Potter ride in Universal Studios coming in at a viewer rating of 8.8 .8 is... Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. This super intense steel roller coaster with a height of 167 feet, a length of 3,800 feet, and a top speed of 65 miles per hour starts with an extreme vertical lift of 167 feet, which then drops the riders straight down. Each ride seat is equipped with a full multimedia studio, LED lights, built-in video recorders, and the option for riders to choose a song from a list to be played during the course of the ride. Okay, whoever thought this one up, thank you. That's the way, uh, 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 I like it. While you're doing loops and court screws. On Rip Ride Rocket, you get to pick what song you listen to, but there's actually a secret menu song, and it's the Rainbow Connection by Kermit the Frog. No, I'm not kidding. It's awesome and terrible. Listen to me very closely. As soon as you get on the ride, hold down the ride logo with your finger on the touch screen where you normally select the music. Do not pick a song. You will be tempted because there are cool songs already showing in the list. Hold down only the ride logo because a secret screen will appear that allows you to type in a number. Type in the number 902. You will not be disappointed, and you can thank me later. A close second is number 310 for any Madonna fans out there. So there seems to be like a whole subculture around the song selection and the secret menu on this ride, which makes this experience even cooler. But what did the viewers say? Amber Star said, this is one of the best roller coaster thrill rides in Orlando. If you like roller coasters, this is a must. I also like that I usually get to ride it more than once because it is not a ride for families, so the lines tend to be shorter. Well, it definitely sounds like people love this ride, so why wouldn't you ride it? Well, despite having the second best rating of non-Harry Potter rides in Universal Studios, only 97% of you recommended it versus Men in Black Alien Attack, which 100% of you recommended. A viewer named Julianne Farrell explains this ride is pretty intense, but it is fun. The roller coaster is not that long, but it's really fun for thrill seekers. But she continues, not for those afraid of heights or roller coasters. Another viewer named R Mayorga 130 brings up a good point. Like many rides at Universal, this one also has restrictive seats. If in doubt, try the test seats. The restraints are across your waist, so again, it won't fit everyone. So if you're like a thrill-seeking roller coaster loving type, this ride's for you. The pros, customized soundtrack, amazingly intense roller coaster, that 90 degree drop. The cons, way too intense for many riders. Restrictive seats, that 90 degree drop. And your pick for the number one best non-Harry Potter ride in Universal Studios coming in at a viewer rating of 8.98, Revenge of the Mummy. 
Opening May 21st, 2004, this roller coaster slash dark ride hybrid based on the 1999 reboot of the classic Universal Mummy film franchise that dates all the way back to the 1930s replaced an iconic opening day attraction, Confrontation. Yes, 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 The Mummy is hands down the correct answer for the best ride in Universal that's not Harry Potter. It's a dark ride, it's a coaster, it's thrilling, but frankly, I'd be enjoying this interview a lot more if I got my cup of coffee. Okay, that's an inside joke from the ride. For whatever reason, there's a storyline where you're behind the scenes of the making of the film with Brendan Fraser, and he's being a diva and demands a cup of coffee, and in turn gets cursed by a real mummy, which subsequently curses your ride vehicle. So it's a ride within a documentary about the making of a movie that a ride is based on. Nothing confusing about that at all. This ride is incredible. An indoor roller coaster with pyro and a fake out ending where your ride vehicle is taken over by a satanic force that makes the ride continue past the exit. Yes, please. I think that the Revenge of the Mummy is one of the best developed storylines in all of the Universal parks because you really get the idea of the mummy curse from the queue and then you get faced with the mummy curse once you're on the attraction. So it's really cool. Crystal Says says, if you like a mix between theme, dark, thrill, then The Mummy is for you. It has everything to keep your teenager, adult, adrenaline junkie entertained. But they clearly left out kids for a reason. This is another very intense ride. A launch in the dark, pyro, demonic possession. The further you get into the queue, the more menacing the whole experience gets. So this is one I'm not gonna be getting my daughters on for quite some time. I mean, you got like lots of ceiling flames and soul stealing and whatnot, but it is a little too scary for me. Your fellow viewers pick this ride as the best based on their taste, but there are many more family-friendly rides at Universal Studios that didn't even make this list. If you don't feel like your family was represented here, head over to allears.net after this video ends Add your voice to the conversation. These videos have gotten such a great response that these lists change almost immediately after one of these videos is published. So should you and your family ride the mummy? Well, as your fellow viewer Kennedy B05 put it, this ride is very immersive and fast paced. I love the slow of the coaster before you take off. The queue is phenomenal. They did an amazing job on this ride. However, it might be a little scary for younger riders. You will never return and you belong to me. This is like Space Mountain meets hell and it's thrilling. The pros, a dark ride and a roller coaster. Amazing special effects, a wild and thrilling ride. The cons, too scary for some. Intense subject matter, not appropriate for children. And that does it for your list of the best non-Harry Potter rides in Universal Studios Orlando. What do you think of this list? These videos will never be complete until each and every single one of you has weighed in. So make your opinion, make your voice heard over at allears.net and in the comments below. And go and poke around the review section of allears.net and write some reviews. Who knows, your opinion may be included in a future episode. If you like this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up. Be sure to stay tuned to All Ears TV and AllEars.net for more Disney and non-Disney news and fun. Follow us on Instagram at AllEarsNet. New to the channel? Check out our other All Ears videos right here and please subscribe to All Ears Net. Clang the little notification bell so you immediately get notified when we post a new video. This is Chris for All Ears TV. See you next time.